Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the bike vans, bitch. Okay. <laughs> we back at it again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mentioned I hate this. Okay. Just making sure. Alex was about to be a dead man. He was forcing me at 1 fucking a.m. in the morning to go out somewhere. He wouldn't even tell me where we were going. Uh, and did I mention he forced me to wear a dress? I absolutely hate dresses. Let's just say I wasn't in the best of moods. Stop scalling. It's not a pretty look on you. You're forcing me to go out with you at one in the morning in a goddamn morning, child. Do you expect me to be sure to be showering you with kisses? Kissing would be nice. Alex put his right hand on the inner part of my thigh. Girl, hold on. I started to blush hard, but I don't want Alex to know the effect he has on me. H hands off, cow hand. Why? I like touching you. Well, I don't. So keep your slutty hands to yourself. <laughs> Yikes. I think I made him mad. Should I apologize? Nope. Fuck you, man. What? You don't like to you don't like to talk about all the women you fucked? <laughs> no, not with my fiance. Oh god. So not your fucking fiance, child. He didn't say anything, well, we didn't say anything to each other for the rest of the ride. It was very, it was, it was tense and very awkward. Oh, fun. Out of my eyes, please. Where are we? You'll see. Bitch, you took me to the casino, bitch. Whoa, where are we? We're at, at the, one of the casinos I own. This is so awesome. Do you want a tour? Hell yeah. No, girl, no, I really don't. Alex takes my hand suddenly and pulls me flush against his... Oh, wait. Against her body? What? His body? I tense up immediately, but I don't pull away. Let's go. Alex shows me around the casino with his arm around my waist. He introduces me as his fiance to his business associates and investors. At first, it annoyed me. But then I saw how he introduced me with pride and admiration in his voice. It made me feel good. This is my favorite part of the building. Whoa. This view is amazing. I'm glad you like it, princess. Princess? You don't like that nickname? Hell no. Find a new one. No thanks, princess. <laughs> oh, no, girl. You speaking? Uh-uh. Lord, save me from this man. <laughs> oh, no. You're speaking? Okay. I can understand you, princess. <laughs> You speak Italian, honey? Yep. So I can't talk shit about you behind your back. You can. I'll just know what you're saying about me. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh, I want to, sweetheart. I really want to. <laughs> Pirate. <laughs> I turn away from Alex's lust filled stare and stare into the night sky. The view is so beautiful. Yeah, you are. Alex wraps his arm around me and we stare off into the sky. After a while, he turns me around to face him and stares into me into my eyes. Oh, what are you doing, kid? I'm praying to God you won't stop me. Um, Alex looks down at my lips and moves closer to me. I'm too caught up in the moment to stop him. My heart beats faster and faster as his lips get closer to mine. I was about 
I was about to give him my first kiss. Yeah, I know. I'm 17. And that's pathetic. Girl. I'm just saying, girl. But whatever. But my papa never allowed me around boys. Our lips were almost touching. I closed my eyes waiting for our lips to merge together. Alex. Oh, goddamn. Thank God. I didn't say what I got damn bad. Shit. What? Did I do something wrong? No. You're perfect. Just don't get mad, okay? Why would I be mad? I know I will find you here, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why are you here, Jade? You haven't been answering my calls. I miss you. I miss you fucking me. Oh, I want you, Alex. Okay, I want you now. Oh. <laughs> People, I'm not mad. Okay, I'm for, let's make this clear. I do not like him. But, honey... I would have acted as all of the damn fool, even though I didn't like him. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Anyway, I don't know why, but Jade's comments about Alex fucking pissed me off. It will piss me the hell off. Was I jealous? No, I couldn't be. Right? What we had is over, Jade. Stop calling me. I know you still want me. I don't want you, Jade. I'm dating someone now. Oh, please. You fuck girls and then ditch them. Alexander Calhan never dates. I do now. Don't tell me you're with this little... <laughs> Not this ugly bitch. Excuse me? You heard me, whore. Oh, baby, hold down. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. <laughs> you need to keep your slutty little hands away from my man. You're nothing but an ugly little toy he he's fascinated with for the moment. Once Alex fucks you... He'll, he'll see how useless you are and throw you out. But me, he'll always come back for more of me. Um, <laughs> so run along, little girl. Alex needs a real woman to ple to pleasure his needs. Girl, fuck this. Back down. Fuck you, man, bitch. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. I just find it hilarious how you consider yourself a real woman. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Honey, I can tell from here those boobs and that ass you're proudly flaunting around isn't real. Shut, shut up, bitch. <laughs> or what? Are you going to take off your extensions and try to fight me? <laughs> I'm tempted to. <laughs> girl, not you going to take your wig off the fight, girl. <laughs> no, thanks. I might get herpes from touching you. Listen up, bitch, and listen good. If you ever talk to me like that again, I will break your little ugly nose and shove your your ugly blonde extensions down your throat. Wait, Val. What a bitch. I'm glad her ugly ass is gone. Let's go back to my place, baby. If you ever talk to my woman like that again, I'll strangle you myself. Mm, okay. Girl, you read that bitch, honey. You opened the book on that bitch. Oh my! <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> I almost let that asshole kiss me, and and I wanted him to. God, I needed him to kiss me, <laughs> but then Jackass Jade came over begging Alex to fuck her. It was a wake up call. Alex only wanted me for sex. He didn't want me for me. Can I buy you a drink? Can you buy me a drink? Uh, okay. I was pissed at Alex and I really needed a drink. Uh, I don't know. I, my bad. I clicked too fast. But I didn't want this guy to get the wrong idea. Shit. Hell yeah. Buy me a drink. Sure. Why not, girl? With your ugly ass. What's somebody like you doing in a place like this? Somebody like me? Young, beautiful, innocent. This is a dangerous place with dangerous people. Um, okay. After a few sips of my drink, I start to feel drowsy. Something was wrong. Are you okay? What what did you do do to me? <laughs> oh, what did you 
give it away, girl. Oh. Okay. It's done later. I've drugged uh, Giovanni's daughter, and I'll bring her to you. My head was spinning. I could tell this guy was speaking in Russian. And if what my father was saying about the Russian mob is true, I was fucking screwed. My legs gave out and I fall to the floor in the haze. I think I can hear hurried footsteps coming closer and closer before any before anything turns black. I mean everything turns black. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Valentina? Val. Wake up, Val. Alex? Good, you're awake. Where am I? My room. What happened? Russians, they tried to take you. What? Why me? Because your father is the head of the Italian mob, honey. Kidnapping you, a mafia princess, would ignite war. And that's exactly what the Russians want. What happened to the guy who tried to take you from me? He's dead. Did you kill him? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, okay, girl. <laughs> what the fuck? There was an awkward silence as I thought about what Alex just said. Kill him. Yes, I did, girl. Like, he would just change his motherfucking drawers, okay? There was no emotion or remorse in his confession. Alex was a cold heart, cold-blooded killer. Val? Yes. I had a meeting with your father, and he's afraid the Russians might come after you again. The only way we can be safe, the only way you can be safe is for you to be under my protection. Okay, so do I have to stay here longer? No. Don't get mad. You know, anytime you say that, I end up getting mad, girl. <sighs> Just say it, Alex. I won't get mad. I promise. Your father decided to move the wedding up. How did I know that was coming? Okay. Did he move it up a month or two? No. How much? You're scaring me, Alex. We're to be married in three days. Bitch, three days? How am I going to get this shit together, girl? Val, you okay? You kidding me. Right, Callahan? I'm sorry, Valentina. Unfortunately, I'm not. How could you agree with this? How could you agree with this whole marriage? Believe it or not, Valentina, but I don't want to marry you. <laughs> but my father said you chose to marry me. He said you chose me over Rosalyn. Or Rosalyn. I chose you because you're an easier target to the Russians. You need more protection than Rosalyn. Oh, it's actually really noble of him, really. Mm, whatever. But there was more I needed to know. Okay, then why didn't you tell my father you didn't want to get married? Because I was ordered to marry you. I didn't have a choice. And all the times you came on to me was me trying to make a bad situation better. Yikes, and here I thought he actually liked me. <laughs> I didn't want... Oh my God, it's a little baby. Hello, baby cousin, y'all. I didn't want to be hurt by what he said, but I was. You should rest. We have we have a lot to do when you wake up. What's happening when I wake up? We're meeting with the press to announce our marriage. Then we'll have an engagement party. What? In a few hours? Yes, so get some sleep. What the fuck? Okay, y'all, it's getting a little bit... Oh, well, it's getting a little interesting. I'm not quite hooked, but it's getting interesting. 